Since the dawn of civilization, two things have truly endured the test of time. Number one, rock and roll, obviously. But number two, archery. So it comes as no surprise that both make frequent appearances in gaming. But let's just focus on archery for now. While most of us think that archers are quick and nimble and otherwise dainty individuals, gaming shows us that no archetype is exempt from using the oldest weapon in man's ancient arsenal. Nomad, Link, Ash, Turok, Ryu Hayabusa, Wander, Kid Icarus, and troll hunters everywhere owe their success in no small part to the humble bow and arrow. And as any TF2 sniper will tell you, archery, while slower and generally less effective than its modern counterpart, is infinitely more rewarding when you get it right. So I may be a crack shot with the Huntsman in Team Fortress, but can I do it in real life? To find out, I've come to Pacific Archery in Daly City, California. Here I would become an undisputed archery master in less than an hour, under the tutelage of Nathan Tamio, who had been archerying since the age of 13. Yeah, it's more like a yawning motion. We discussed posture, safety, and even the anatomy of the bow. Excuse is this going to be on the final? <laughs> So this is a string. By the time I was ready to shoot, I'd already learned many valuable lessons that could be applied to everyday life. Like, don't dry fire the bow. The white feather faces towards you. Pull the string to your mouth. Your body should be perpendicular to the target. And wait for everyone to yell clear before you retrieve your arrows. Clear? At long last, I was ready to fire my first shot, which happened to be a bullseye. Perfect. Very, very good. I was off to a good start, but I was still decades away from becoming a master and I only had 34 minutes of lesson time left. So, I decided that the only way that I was gonna get anywhere was a full-blown montage. Despite its epic nature, my montage had been a complete failure. Even after the extensive amount of minutes I had invested in this board, I was nowhere near mastering it. But it then dawned on me that while some may approach archery with competitive aspirations, most people just do it for fun. The little girl and her father standing next to me certainly weren't going to win any tournaments by the end of their first lesson, but they still had a smile glued on their face from ear to ear. And after reviewing my footage, I found numerous instances of what appear to be smiles on my face as well. If there's one thing I took away from the experience, it's that beneath its strict and disciplined exterior, archery at its core is about having a casually competitive good time with your friends. Something that I have a tremendous amount of experience with already. So can I shoot a bow and arrow? Well, obviously, kind of, maybe. Anyway, join us next month where we tackle another video game theme in real life.